Chicago is one of the great cities of the world. On the Mid-South Side, it's the heart and soul of Chicago. Because of the concentration of talent and experience on the South Side, laying the groundwork for the Harold Washingtons, the Carol Moore's LeBrons, and then the President of the United States. He came from the South Side of Chicago. I'm from the South Side of Chicago. For the Kids in the Youth Guidance Becoming a Man program, talking to President Obama has fundamentally changed their views about what's possible in their own lives. You have young people now that say, I want to be president or I want to be a lawyer. And before Obama, they would not have thought to say words like that. The heart of the South Side has such great potential for impact because of this rich cultural history, has great community leadership, and yet it has the kinds of problems that every urban area in the country has. We're in this moment of transformation where people understand how tremendously viable the city and the South Side can be. The South Side could be this wonderful home for the Obama Presidential Library because it's this already existing great community that could lend its resources to make the library even better. I think we're speaking of a library as a living thing, something that inspires what's going to happen next. It would be a spark for regeneration and revitalization. And it would bring to the South Side tourists. It would bring to the South Side businesses. It would bring to the South Side enthusiasm among younger people. Something like this would encourage students to look at what the president has done, what the first lady did within the community. Cultural institutions change lives. I meet someone every week who tells me that their life path got started by an inspiring moment here in this museum. The Obama Presidential Library could be a place for great possibilities. It could be a place of information and inspiration.